back with another episode of Dinosaur Island. We are at a different part of the Dinosaur Island than usual. We are at a different side that we have never ventured to, ventured to yet. Here we can see a Triceratops grazing in the grasses. He is not alone though. He has a mate. Mm. They mated during the mating season. And they and they have and they have mated for three months now. You can see that this is the male because his horns are not brightly colored like the female. They are now together and they have been together for a very long time. Which means the female is getting ready to, ready to lay her eggs. Until now, she must eat continuously, so the male must protect her at all costs. But what the male doesn't know is that they are being stalked by a very, very vicious predator. Only a few meters away from the Triceratops is behind this grass, we can see a Tyrannosaurus Rex. His name is Nightmare. That's why I decided to na name him, because he is truly a nightmare. He is very, very vicious. He's been through many fights before, such as the one with the Spinosaurus. But till then, he has just been minding his own business, killing and eating and surviving. He's gained through a lot of hunting experiences since the fight of the Spinosaurus, and he's now a built killing machine. He has to wait for the perfect opp opportunity to strike, but he is very hungry. He hasn't eaten in weeks. He is not really patient. He decides to strike. He goes for the female, but before he can reach, the male, the male Triceratops pushes the T-Rex over. <sighs> Nightmare gets back up. He is very, very angry. The, the male Triceratops tells the male to run away and get to safety. <sighs> the male, I mean, oh, no, sorry, guys. The male tells the female to get to safety as quick as she can. <sighs> she runs away. <sighs> it is now between... The male Sarceratops and Nightmare. <sighs> Nightmare quickly lashes, biting the side of the Sarceratops, knocking, knocking the male Sarceratops over. He's not going to give up so easily. He pushes and pushes, eventually knocking the, the mighty Nightmare over. <sighs> um, the male Triceratops quickly gets into action. Stabbing the male, I mean, Nightmare, right in the stomach. I keep getting names mixed up for some reason. Sorry about that, guys. Nightmare ro roars in pain. He gets up. He has a very, very bad wound. He backs off. He must find easier prey to hunt. He, he flees the scene. The male call calls out to the female. She comes out of the bushes. The male tells the female that everything is safe now. Now they are finally happy together. They travel. They travel somewhere more safe. Meanwhile, meanwhile, we go back to Nightmare. He has really bad injuries. The bleeding has finally stopped, but he needs to re replenish his injury. I mean, sorry, he needs to replenish his energy quickly. He's traveling through the forest, but he needs to watch out because there are really sharp thorns. This is a really dangerous path to travel through. 
he seems to get stabbed by a thorn right now. These thorns are really poisonous. Luckily, he did, He only got stabbed by one of them. He's a very, very large beast, so it won't affect him. But if he gets stabbed by a lot, then that will affect him. He hears water. If you listen closely, there is water nearby. He must keep traveling. He finally does reach the stream, though. The stream goes on for miles. He must replenish his energy quick. He takes a nice, nice big sip of water. The stream starts to move faster. He decides to head downstream to see if there's a pond nearby that he can bathe in. Because he needs to heal his injury quick. So he travels downstream.